The movie is in black and white. It opens with a man driving his truck down a road and listening to country music. He sees a woman in the middle of the road and she collapses. He goes to check on her and rushes back to his truck to call for help. The scene shifts to a farmhouse. There is a little girl named Francisca lying down on her bed. Then, Francisca and her mother are in their garden. Her mother talks about the statue of a saint, while Francisca picks flowers in the garden. They talk in Portuguese. Francisca asks her mother to look at the cows together. The first part of the movie begins, and it is called Mother. Her mother tells her that the cow's eyes and human eyes are the same. After looking at their cows, they are in their house with the head of a cow. Her mother takes the pupil of the cow to show Francisca. She also teaches little Francisca about anatomy and her specialty on eyes. Later, while Francisca is playing in the front yard, a man approaches her. As soon as her mother sees him, she rushes to Francisca's side. The man named Charlie introduces himself and asks when her husband will be home. Her mother tells him that he will be home shortly. Charlie asks to use their bathroom, and they accept his request. He asks questions about the house and insists on getting answers even though Francisca's mother dodges his questions. Charlie asks her to show him the bathroom, but she refuses to do so. Charlie gets intense. He pulls a gun on Francisca's mother and asks Francisca to sit on a chair. Charlie asks her mother to show him the bathroom with the gun pointed at her this time. Francisca's father drives home peacefully and finds Francisca sitting in the chair. He goes around inside the house to look for his wife. He hears voices coming from the bathroom. Charlie is in the bathroom with his deceased wife. The father has beats Charlie, puts him in a bag, and drags him through the floor into their barn. While her father is watching TV, she scrubs the bathroom floor. She checks on her father, but he refuses to talk. She rests up in her room, and eventually, her father comes and asks for her help with her mother. They walk through the woods in the middle of the night with a single flashlight and dig a grave for Francisca's mother. Later, the scene cuts to them watching TV together in their pajamas. Charlie yells the name Lenny repeatedly in the barn. Then, while she sits outside, her father comes out from the barn. The next day, she picks flowers from her garden, as she did with her mother. The scene shifts to Francisca in the barn with Charlie. Charlie is tied down on the floor. She stitches his wound. Instead of feeling the pain, he laughs. Francisca asks him why he chose them, and his motivations for homicide. He tells her that it feels great, and she should try it on him. She refuses his offer, because he is her only friend. She takes his eyes and tongue out. She puts them in her fridge. Her father is watching TV, and she joins him. She assures her father that there won't be any voice anymore. The scene shifts to the father taking a cold bath. He shivers in the bathroom because he remembers his wife. Later, he goes to sleep with Francisca. The next day, Francisca catches a mouse and feeds it to Charlie. At night, while her father is sitting, she asks to dance with him. They dance to a love song and the second part of the movie begins. It is called Father. Francisca has grown up. Her father has passed away and she sits beside his body. She stands up to move his body elsewhere. Later, she pets the cows in her farmhouse. When she tries to feed them, they don't want to eat. She picks flowers while feeling the presence of her mother. She hangs her laundry outside, then cleans the tiles in her house. At night, she feeds Charlie. He is still chained down in their barn after all those years. After feeding him, she has her meal in her house. She has put plates for her mother and father too, even though they are not alive anymore. She has put her father on their couch so he can continue watching TV in his eternal sleep. She puts a blanket on him and hugs him. Later, she gives him a bath and puts her father in his bed. She prays and sleeps next to her father. The next day, Francisca washes her dishes and then gets in her car. She starts the car and drives, but it is dark outside now. She stops at a bar and gets inside. The scene cuts to her in the car again, and a woman asks if she lives close by. Francisco brings a woman named Kimiko to her house. She asks questions about the house and looks at the photos of Francisca's mother. They sit down on the couch and start to talk about Francisca's late mother. Francisca tells her that her mother was an eye surgeon in Portugal. Francisca talks about her admiration of human anatomy. They hold hands. Kimiko asks what happened to her mother, but regrets asking when Francisca reveals what happened. Kimiko hugs her, but Francisca kisses her. Kimiko steps back from it and asks about her father. Francisca tells her bluntly that she is responsible for his passing. She says that it is a joke, but Kimiko gets scared. She decides to leave and tries to call her mom. She panics and goes to the door to leave, but Francisco insists that she stay. The scene shifts to the morning. Francisca is sweeping Kimiko's blood from the floor. She puts little bags in the fridge. At night, while she is sleeping, she suddenly wakes up and realizes that she is alone in bed. She leaves her bed to check on Charlie. She hugs him and takes him inside her house. She gives him a bath in the bathroom. She opens the bandage on his eyes. She gets intimate with him in the bedroom. She wakes up to an empty bed again. She looks around the house in her white nightgown. She sees Charlie walking outside and goes after him. She harms him while also hugging him. The scene cuts to Francisca dancing in front of her father's decreasing body to the same song they used to dance to when she was little. Later, she cuts body parts and puts them in plastic bags. She takes a ring and puts it on. After that, she drinks and tells her mom to take care of her dad. She starts a big fire in her yard. She cries about not wanting to be alone anymore. 
The next morning, she wakes up confused in the middle of the wood. She walks near the road, and a car stops to pick her up. The third part of the movie begins, and it is called Family. A woman is driving. Her name is Lucy, and she is with her baby and Francisca. Francisca is interested in the baby, Antonio. Lucy drives Francisca home. Francisca invites them inside, but Lucy rejects it. Francisca asks to hold Antonio, and runs into her house with him. Lucy forcefully gets inside the house, and finds Antonio in his bed, but Francisca stabs her from behind. The scene shifts to Francisca stitching in the barn, where Lucy is chained up. Lucy's eyes and mouth have been taken out by Francisca. She puts bandages on Lucy, just like she did with Charlie. Later, Francisca walks with Antonio, while Lucy tries to get out. Francisca brings her food, and Lucy eats it heartily. Time fast forwards. Antonio is older, and Francisca calls on him for dinner. At night, Antonio wakes up and leaves Francisco alone in bed. He goes into the barn with his teddy bear in his hand. He finds a chained Lucy crawling towards him. He gets scared and runs off. The next day, Francesca puts food for Lucy, and she crawls towards it with her chains. Antonio asks Francisca about the person in the barn. Later, Francisca prays for her mother's guidance. At night, Francisca talks about how she did everything for Antonio. In the middle of the night, Antonio leaves his bed to check on the woman once more, but he gets scared and runs off again. Following his voice, Lucy gets out of the barn at night. In the morning, Francisca goes to check on Lucy, but Lucy is on walking on the road. Lucy hears a truck coming and falls to the floor with her chains. The truck driver approaches and saves her. Later at night, Francisca prays over sleepy Antonio. The scene shifts to Francisca digging her late mother's grave in the woods. She hugs her mother's body and tells her about Antonio. She tiredly walks back to the house with her shovel and sees three cars going toward her house. She runs to wake Antonio while the police are banging on her door. She tries to hide Antonio. A gunshot goes off and everything goes silent. 